To assemble the BCS mowing sulky, you will need the following tools. A 17mm wrench. A socket wrench equipped with a 17mm deep socket and an extension. A 19mm wrench or deep socket. A tire pressure gauge. A hammer. And a pair of needle nose pliers. Before starting assembly, confirm that you have all parts listed on the packing sheet, plus one that may not be listed. A pair of silver locking collars. Make sure the tractor's wheels are configured for your mowing application. For example, our unit seen here is the model 732 with 5 by 10 inch wheels and one set of 4.5 inch wheel extensions. This gives us an outside wheel width of 27 inches. The sulky can adjust to an outside wheel width of no greater than 30 inches. Bolt each of the two sulky supports to two wheel studs using the wheels washers and nuts. Tighten with your 17 mm deep socket. Slide the support extensions into the supports. Align the hole in the extension with the hole in the support that positions the flange just outside the tire. Insert a 10 by 55 mm bolt into the hole and add a self-locking nut, but do not tighten. Lay a front arm under each of the sulky supports, parallel to the tire, with the hook portions directly under the extension flanges and extending back toward the tractor's engine. Making sure that the foot supports are on top, position the left and right halves of the U-frame beyond the end of each front arm. Then add the sulky coupling to complete the U-shaped frame. With the drop pin hitch facing away from the engine, lay the coupler symmetrically over the center gap and determine to which holes in the half frames the coupler should be attached. If aligned correctly, the same hole should be used on either side of the half frame. Insert the long 10 by 65 mm bolts and thread on the self-locking nuts. Adjust the position of the U-frame so that the foot rests are positioned just beyond the engine bumper and each leg is on top of or alongside the corresponding front arm. Attach the frame to the front arms using the closest hole in the arm to the hole in the frame. Make sure the same hole is used on both sides. To attach each side of the U-frame assembly to the tractor wheel supports, start by sliding the bronze bushing onto the support extension, flange first, with the tabs on bottom. Hook the front arm over the extension tube and slide it onto the bushing like so. Add the special locking collar with the short tab under the open portion of the front arm and the long tab over the top, and secure with the hitch pin. If necessary, tap the hitch pin with your hammer to get it through the tube completely. Repeat for the other side. Finally, verify that the frame moves freely up and down without contacting the tractor tires. If so, tighten the nuts and bolts along the U-frame to fix this position, as well as the bolts that secure the support extensions to the wheel supports. Slide the fork coupling into the end of the wheel axle assembly and insert a 10 by 55 mm bolt. Thread on a self-locking nut, but do not tighten it quite all the way. By having the bolt pass through a slot, this allows the wheels under your seat to float side to side independently of the tractor's position. Check the air pressure in the two sulky tires, and if needed, inflate to 25 psi. Coat the axle with a light grease and slide on each wheel. Install the flat washer on the outside and secure with a cotter pin. Use your pliers to bend the legs of the pins to conform to the curvature of the axle.
Now attach the wheel axle assembly to the U-frame using the drop pin and secure the pin by inserting the hair clip through the bottom hole. Next, attach the base support for the seat with the portion with the two 10mm holes and one larger diameter hole on the bottom. The large hole is pointed to the rear and serves as a hitch point in case you ever need to tow something. Two 10 by 30 mm bolts are used to secure the base to the wheel axle. Install and tighten with two of the self-locking nuts. Finally, install the seat. Start by placing the backing plate over the two studs on the base of the seat. Then pass these two studs through whichever two holes in the base support provide the most comfortable seat to foot rest distance. With your 19mm wrench, secure with both flat washers and self-locking nuts. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, please know that we welcome your feedback and questions. To contact us about the content of this video, please call 1-800-543-1040 or email info at bcsamerica.com. Thank you.